Okay, hello. This is a quick explanation of the illegal argument exception uh, in Java. Now, illegal argument means that one of, that the number that you have passed to a method was invalid, uh, whatever kind of data you are giving it. For instance, in this case, we take an integer, and so and in my example here, I'm giving it an integer. So you might think that this is a legal argument, but in that case, you would actually oops, you'd actually be incorrect. What should happen if I try to run it? You see, I can compile it just fine. An exception does not stop compilation, but when I try to run it, well, we're going to get a problem. I get the exact exception you're trying to get, the illegal argument exception. So that's a little weird. You know, it kind of makes us wonder. Well, wait a minute. That was an integer, and it's looking for an integer. Why weren't there any problem? Why was why was there an issue? Well, because the illegal argument exception isn't exactly meant to stop it from giving it the wrong data type. Uh, that's what compilation is for. For instance, if I were to try and give it hello instead, you know, a piece of data that is obviously incorrect, it's going to stop it at compilation time. It's going to say, no, we need an integer, and you're giving us a string. That was bad. Or, um, or conversely, if I, if I try the less obvious issue 5.6, it's going to give me an error also, saying, hey, we need an integer, not a double. So the illegal argument exception is not meant for stopping. Um, for not, it's not meant for stopping. Uh, the wrong data type. It's meant for stopping things that are of the correct data type but are wrong. Let's take a look at this argue except um, method that I made down here. It takes an integer, which we're giving it. However, I put an extra requirement on this um, on this method. I want to go ahead and stop it and throw the illegal argument exception, tell the user that there is a problem with their input um, rather immediately. I want to make sure that my number is within the parameters of 0 and 100 inclusive. As in 0 is fine and 100 is fine, but anything greater than 100 or less than 0 is going to get this illegal argument exception. And the benefit of doing that instead of simply returning is, well, if I were to just say return, you know, well, what would I return? Because if you notice, I already use these other numbers. If I gave it just a different number, that's going to factor into some kind of score. That can mess up data along the way. So instead, we do this thing right here. Throw new illegal argument exception. Meaning, we're going to uh, make an exception happen. You see, the compiler sees no issues here. It doesn't understand that 101 is bad for our purposes. But we want to alert the user of that and crash the program. That's right, we actually want to crash our program. Okay. So if you get bad input, you will get a you will have a runtime error. Uh, this helps prevent us from continuing to try and use whatever data we got from this. Uh, you know, method, and make sure that people know there's a problem. It prevents us from having to deal with whatever bad data we're going to get out of this later on down the road. And if, if you take a look at this, you might notice that this is probably meant for grading and getting GPAs. Notice if you have more, if you have a 90 or higher, you get a 4.0. 80 or higher, a 3.0, and so on, all the way down to having an F, which has total credit denied. Yeah. So that's just that's just the uh, that's how we would do the illegal argument exceptions. Okay, hope that helped, and thanks for watching.